Hello and welcome to this video. Now recently I acquired three of these cabinets full of electronic components. So we're just looking at some uh, random drawers, there's some resistors, some miscellaneous stuff, some bridge rectifiers, uh, lots of LEDs. It's not necessarily what's written on there, but there's just absolute loads of uh, components in here. Well, ferret beads, not so exciting, but I mean, there's some transistors and all sorts of stuff in these drawers. Better put them to good use. Some microchips and stuff. Anyway, what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to build something using just components from these drawers. Nothing too exciting, but something Christmas themed. Now what I had been wanting to do for a while is a sort of uh, tribute to a program called Bitsa, which was shown on BBC One. And in that children's program they would have a challenge where children would call out numbers of boxes that contained some materials and the presenters would have to make something using those materials. So I'm going to do something similar but using electronic components. Um, the only thing is I will be using wires and tools that I already have. So I'm just, I've had a look through here and then I'm going to build something just using components from these drawers. Right, so I've soldered up this circuit really quickly using components from various drawers on the cabinet. Now this type of construction is called point-to-point -point construction. And that's how circuits used to be made uh, before circuit boards were used. It's not the most elegant thing and it's not really that practical. It can easily short, but it's just to solder up quickly. It's good, good technique for prototyping. Anyway, let's apply power. I'm using two Vata 3 volt batteries which were in the cabinet. And I'm just going to connect them up. And here we go, flashing Christmas lights. The full circuit diagram will be on my site. Basically it's four transistors in two pairs which continuously switch each other on and off with different timings. You have a nice effect of some flashing lights. So let's now look at how the circuit works. The circuit consists of two transistor A-stable multi-vibrators. And each A-stable multi-vibrator consists of two transistors. These are 2N2222 transistors, but you can use any general purpose MPN transistors. Now the way the A-stable multi-vibrators work is that each transistor continuously turns each other on and off. That is, there is no, a, there is no stable state, it's an A-stable. The timing of the a stable is determined by the two resistors and two capacitors in each part. Each collector of the transistor drives four LEDs and each LED has its own lim limiting resistor which is very important. I've chosen 220 ohms which will provide about 20 milliamps so yellow, red and green LEDs should be fine. This is all running off 6 volts and when I measured it drew about 60 milliamps, a bit lower than you would expect. Uh, if you're building this circuit yourself, ensure that you get the polarity of the capacitors correct. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Any questions please ask and that's bye for now. Bye.